Y'all know I'll rock with y'all because it's freezing. I'm not even dressed properly to be out here in this cold. It's about to snow a little later or whatnot, but we got to get that footage. Woo! <laughs> Just took that hot hoodie off. You know, sometimes you got to put the swag on for the video. Lights, camera, action is off. If you haven't watched, I've opened up all of the Samsung cases and along with the S22 Ultra just to show you guys what those cases are like uh, as well as the 45 watt power delivery um, for those of you who are excited about the 45 watts on the brand new S22 Ultra <laughs> the Note let's keep it real this is the Galaxy Note so basically right now what I'm about to do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, put my SIM card in here I gotta take my SIM card out of my baby now this is my baby the Fold 3 is bay. I won't even lie but the Fold 3 got to step aside and let the S22 Ultra, the Note. Just first impressions, real talk. I like the weight. This this just gives me Note 10 Plus vibes all over again. And the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, hands down, is my favorite Galaxy Note of all times. And this is very, very reminiscent of that. Here's another thing I want to talk about in the tech space. Like, everyone wants to be wowed and, and just, you know, everything goes crazy every year. Like, what kind of pressure are we putting on these companies? As long as they're making good devices that deliver, that's all that matters. Now granted, I haven't been watching the hoobla ha about the S22 Ultra. I haven't been looking at tech YouTube because I wanna go in using this thing on my own and give you no bias, no influence, opinions about the S22 Ultra. I know some of y'all think I'd be capping about actually using Samsung devices. I, I don't hide that my preference is uh, iOS, but I don't hide the fact that I do carry two devices. There is a SIM card in here as you can see and yes I carry two phones everywhere I go we all about handling our business over here there's no fluff and listen you guys I don't got time to be BSing and, and faking on the internet keep it a buck with you guys all the way that's the best way to be that's how I've always been in life and I like to use my phones naked let me ask y'all a question I want to ask you guys something cuz I me personally I never agree to this the whole sending diagnostic data what did you not do prior to you giving me the phone. I'm not sending you none of my data. Yo, this USB-C cable that I got from uh, the OnePlus devices, this is probably about the best thing about the One. Oh, let me not say that. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I, uh, I had did a um, community post asking you guys, what do you guys want me to make videos on with the S22 Ultra, what you want me to test. I'm just gonna ask you guys again in this video. So hit me down in the comment sections below. Let me know what videos you guys wanna see. I know you guys wanna see the Note 20 Ultra versus the S22 Ultra, should you upgrade? I got you, that's coming. Uh, I'm gonna do the S21 Ultra versus the S22 U Ultra, that's coming. Uh, I wanna do like a little camera shootout between all of the Galaxy phones that I have, like all of the top tier. Front facing cameras on the new S platform are phenomenal, those 40 megapixel, Selfie cameras, my favorite selfie camera on any smartphone, even over the iPhone. Again, they want all my data, no. No, diagnostic data, get out of here, relax. Nah, I don't do, hey Google, I don't do, hey Siri, I don't do none of that, hey nonsense. Oh man, I hate setting up new phones. Woo, you know, I gotta give it the swag, right? Give me a second. Something that I've missed doing for so long is navigating my device with a small, in inner body S Pen. I'm so happy to get back on this. Listen, I don't like sounds coming out of my phones. What? I turn my phone sounds off instantly. I'm like straight vibrate only or just be completely quiet. Bro, what are you talking about, man? That's literally how I have my phones all set up. Here's something I want to point out that I absolutely love about Samsung's settings like or like their menu. I literally type keyboard in there. Like I told you guys, I don't like keyboard sounds and vibration. And all I had to do was scroll down and tap those two things. And it's so easy. All you do is search for what you're looking for, you find it, and you get straight to it. I'm all about swipe gestures at this point. Another thing, when you first get your device, most people don't realize this, but Samsung defaults to full HD. That's not what I paid for, player. Let me switch this up. I paid for this beautiful quad HD display, which, yes, is going to drain the battery more. And that's the whole point. See, sharpest visuals, most battery use. They do it here so you get moderate battery usage. You know, so those people who don't know feel like they're getting a better battery performance. But I want the Quad HD. I'm going Quad all day, baby. Top of the line visuals. Now, if you want to get more battery, you can go to standard. But adaptive is where it's at for all of the latest tech and sauce. All right, now, in the Samsung Cloud, I think if you go here, under Restore Data, I could get my Z Fold 3 or my 
uh, S21 Ultra. We're going with the Z Fold 3 setup. And now I get all my call logs, messages, contacts, home screen, apps, all of that. You get to restore that. That's what I love about the Samsung Cloud. So um, I'm gonna hit that. And that's how I literally get my phone set up way, 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 way quicker. Now it's time, as you can see, listen, I did the uh, Samsung Cloud, and this is my first time opening from the Samsung Cloud, and it already has my background on there. All this is finished, and I love that. So just from the restoration, I pretty much got what I had on my Z Fold going. That's the background from it. So now I just gotta like fix it up. I gotta put the uh, Nova Launcher going on here so I get the real look and everything. But that's why I love that Samsung Cloud little rest restore because it's clutch. Things to do, tips and tricks. Hey, CK, what you got over there, man? What kind of Samsung goodness? What kind of galaxy you living in over oh, there, player? Let, me see, let, let me the see, people man. see, man. Cause my guy let me CK, turn the light. Let me turn the light on my, me. my guy CK wasn't playing with his galaxy. My guy built a whole galaxy oh, over there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let me flip, let me flip it around. Man, show the people. Look, S22. You know what I'm oh, oh, oh. You know, little, little light work right okay, here. Okay, hold up. S22 action. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Got a little S22 plus okay. action happening. You know, got another, got an ultra right here. Okay, you know, okay, green, that ain't auto. Black, got the green. Okay. You know, I got a little something special over here. Ooh. But I don't know if I want to do that. Ooh, I, I, I see. Oh, no. Got, it's got an S8 ultra. <laughs> my, my, my biased opinion is keyboards are not supposed to be used in tablets. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yo, CK got to relax, yo. Oh, the, the Magic Keyboard made the iPad Pro everything that it is, and I'm sure that that keyboard is going to make the hey, S8 look, look, look. Ultra where am I, where am I, everything. Where am I, where am I? Oh, my capping. There's a lot of capping. Oh, wait, wait. Hold up. Hold, hold up. Well, <laughs> somebody had to have wanted a keyboard for them to start making keyboards for tablets, right? It's true. And this bad boy here is made for your fingers. But, and, and, and look, and I, okay, you listen there. Hey, after C Kid unboxing, show us his tab. Tell him, let him see it after he can finger mess. I want to see all of the smudges and nastiness <laughs> on his tablet afterwards. Because, player, you, I know you got to keep a microfiber cloth around. I'm not, I, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'm hyped to actually test this whole joint out right here because, like I said, I'm not a fan of using keyboards, but I haven't really used the keyboard for real, for real on a tablet yet. So I'm curious. To right. Know. How you not a fan and never use this? Come on, man. What, 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 what is this? Yo, yo, this guy, that's like, you prejudging, bro. It's prejudgment. You know what I'm saying? Certain things ain't supposed to go together. There's peanut butter and there's jelly. You ain't supposed to throw nothing else in that there. That is the peanut butter and the jelly. The keyboard and the tablet player. Come on. Why do I need a keyboard when I got a, when I got, when I just got the pen? If I, this way I ain't got to tap on the screen. Wait, the pen oh, is God. white? Samsung? No, 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 it's the, it's the iPad. I was about to say, man, like, come on. I was like, Samsung, wow, that look, that look just like an Apple pencil. Hold up. <laughs> nah, they would have gave a white pencil on that. Oh, it would have been crap. <laughs> hey, man, go on the C-Kid channel, man, and watch whatever craziness he got over there. He better like that keyboard, man. So for a quick reference, we have 100% battery at 615. All right, so this is, uh, I guess, Samsung's version of AirDrop. I'm just sharing it between devices, the Nova Launcher backup, just making it super easy, but that's what's up. Kind of got that little airdrop set up. Very easy to set up, and now I got it. Boom, boom, and I'm gonna open it with Nova Launcher 7, and let's see what happens. And seconds later, I have my setup. Boom, boom, let's go, baby. It's like I never switch phones, it's fire. I'll tell you one thing, this thing is feeling snappier than ever. Look at that, woo, woo, woo. So yeah, I got a new phone, but I got work to do. I gotta uh, edit the video of me showing the cases to this phone right now. And then after that, I'm gonna spend some time playing with this thing and interacting with it, getting my S Pen action. Also, in the meantime, any alerts and messages I get, you know, during the editing process, I'll be picking this up and interacting with it. You know, I got a couple things set up. I have to download a couple things and all that. You know how it goes. So literally when you first get a new phone, the whole day is spent just setting it up. 9.55 p.m. I just finished editing. I love the Galaxy Z Fold 3, but it's something about just getting back to that note. Like, man, this is like rekindling an old flame. Like seriously, I love this phone thus far and i'm not going crazy hyped up and all that stuff. i'm just saying just the nice compact feel of the typical 
smartphone, especially in that note form factor, the people who are note users understand why the square rectangular note is just so ideal for use. I just feel at home on this device tonight while I'm using it, going through YouTube, doing my thing, you know what I mean? Whipping out the S Pen. I just had to put that in there. I'm 93% battery at 956, 7% down. Now granted, that's not heavy use, because like I said, I was editing the video. I don't know, it's just rekindling that, that old flame. Me this is S22 Ultra, got a thing going on. All right, y'all, it's time to shut down the night, midnight. I got 85% left. I'm gonna just let the battery rock out. I'm happy to have the S22 Ultra and uh, basically have the note back. All right, y'all, just woke up. You know, if I look a little crazy, hey, listen. Let's check the standby. I think last night at midnight, which is almost nine hours ago, we were at like 85, 86%. So that's not a bad standby to get down to just only 81%. That's pretty sweet. Uh, I got a video about to drop, like literally in seven minutes. So I got it just in time. All right, guys, let's take our first look outside at the Phantom Black Galaxy Note S22 Ultra, whatever you want to call it. Fingerprint sensor on deck. Put a case on it, like literally. Don't do what I do. I just want to put that out there, but this is such a nice device. It looks really good. The Note is back, baby. First photo got to be at the new whip. If you guys don't know, I'm bringing car content to the channel. Gotta love that, so we gotta check it out. The car is dirty right now, so don't judge me, you know? Do not judge it. Y'all know I rock with y'all, cause it's freezing. I'm not even dressed properly to be out here in this cold. It's about to snow a little later or whatnot, but we gotta get that footage, you know what I mean? This is the front-facing camera on the S22 Ultra. Whoo, you know I had to hit you guys with the horizontal video. Front-facing camera still. I'm about to flip it to the rear. According to the viewfinder, what I'm seeing on the screen, oh, it's looking amazing. Woo! All right, this is the standard rear facing camera which is the camera that most people if not everyone will typically use so we got to see if this quality is a one i can't wait to see the results i'm expecting nothing but ideal situations considering what i saw in the s21 ultra as i said i haven't watched anyone else's youtube video and so forth so all of my opinions and results will be personal from me just giving you my real life experience that's what this is all about it's cold play do y'all see that smoke oh my hand is about to fall off Listen, man, my hand, I hopefully hopefully it's all good. You talk about cold, it's cold out there. But nevertheless, we always have to come through for the squad when it comes to getting that true Galaxy usage, especially when it comes to the Note. You guys know the Galaxy Note is my baby. Okay, so I realized the first videos that I shot were in the typical full HD standard recording mode. I guess they do that to save space for people, but I have to switch it to 4K to show you guys what the 4K can do. So let me flip to the rear uh camera in 4k now this is the rear camera in 4k quality uh you can only do ultra hd in 30 frames per second they don't have a 24 frames per second option i don't know what's up with that but i typically shoot video in 24 frames per second now if i go to 8k i could do 24 frames per second let's get a quick 8k video i'm not sure how close this camera finna be in my face but i know when it comes to 8k video the crop is mean uh let's talk about battery real quick where we are so if you guys remember i started off last night i think it was at 8 p.m yeah oh no it was like 6 p.m 6 p.m yesterday at a 100 percent i'm at 64 percent i'm gonna be honest let me explain something to you guys i'm a busy individual right now i was editing and grinding i wasn't just like you know i wasn't i wasn't uh what do you call them twitter fingers all day on the uh, device i've been having to do a lot of different things this is a real work day for me like a real hustle day so I have been touching that, I have been getting on Instagram, Twitter, using it for to reply to your comments, especially on today's S22 Ultra video. So I've been getting my grind in and using it. Now, obviously the usage is gonna turn up, especially for my next day of use. So when you guys see the days later, you guys will get more of that. This is like my, almost my first 24 hours with it. Wait, see kid, say that again? You using the tablet, what? This is the next day, y'all. All right, so I'm using the tablet, right? Right. So I actually like the tablet. Like the tablet is with cool. with you using the tablet with what? I'm, I'm using it with the keyboard. Okay, there we go. He talking. Let's go. Keep talking. I'm, I'm, I'm still on the fence about how. I like oh, whoa, whoa, wait, hold up. Wait a second, man. That ain't. Listen, before I flip. Wait, 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 wait y'all. Hold on, y'all. Before I flipped on the camera, that ain't what the player was saying. Play. I swear he said he loved the keyboard. I will say this, will say this though. I'm gonna say this. It is an enjoyable experience using it with it. The jury's still out on, on you know, if I want to continue using it. Now, I think a lot of that has to deal with Samsung, how they actually connected this whole thing up with this 
just with the, like the I don't know. It's very like multifunctional with how you actually use it. Here's my question: The keyboard does add to the tablet experience, or not? You know what I mean, right? It, it there does, we go. But honestly, I feel like I'm holding a laptop. Samsung Dex on here makes more sense of why I would buy a keyboard with this because I can flip between both if I wanted to. Versus on the iPad, it's kind of like my feelings are still the same. <laughs> like, well, I mean, I mean that's that's fair though, and that'll probably. Uh, please a lot of the Samsung uh, fans out there to hear that. All right, y'all, let's check out what watching YouTube is like Ooh, on this yes, bad boy. boy finally has his S22 Ultra. Check out the audio. Why is that box so big? Because I got just about every Samsung case that you can put or pre-order or buy for the S22 Ultra in that box. Another great reward when you pre-order with Samsung, you get the accessory credit. So I'm going to show you guys all of those cases on the S22 Ultra. We're going to talk about it. And listen. They could call it S22 Ultra all they want to, but this is the Galaxy Note. Okay, y'all, it's grind time in the office, and I'm about to eat these halibut burgers that I just made on brioche buns. If you don't know about halibut, number one, as a fish, for those people who are, I'm, I'm like, well, I don't know, they call it pescatarian, whatever. I'm mainly vegetarian diet. The only thing that's close to meat that I will eat is fish. Top of the line fish. I mean, it's kind of on the pricey side, but it's so good. Brioche buns. Oh, my gosh. I don't care what kind of burger you're eating. Whatever you choose. Brioche buns are the way. So, I'm about to grub out. Okay, so it is 4.48 p.m. We're at 57%. Let's see if this will focus. Boom. You know, when you first get a phone, the first 24-hour discharge, it's not realistic. Some of you guys might use your phones heavier in the first 24 hours. I'm mainly setting up, creating content, working, grinding. My typical day. Like, I'm on the hustle. This right here is the latest post of the Golf R. It's a really nice uh, set of photos. Go down there, like the photo, and comment and say, I came from the S22 uh, Ultra video. I'm going to take some photos similar to this with the S22 Ultra, and we're going to see how close I can get the S22 Ultra photos to compete with the mirrorless camera that I used to shoot this photo right here on IG. So hit me up. It's at CJUnplugged underscore on Instagram. Yeah. I'm from LA to the A on the run, you can tell where I stay at.